Hello YouTube and how the devil are you? Uh, right, I have had a bit of a morning so far. Uh, as you can see, I've been, I was up early, went and got drinks, uh, which are now in the fridge, all fully stocked. Uh, I've had, I've, I've just bought three faulty Xbox One S's, which I need to test. Don't know what the issue is with them. One of them does say the HDMI crackles and turns off, uh, but the other two, no idea. It might work, it might not, uh, but I'm sure between three of them we can get one working. Uh, but before we have a look at them, my Hermes has just literally dropped off a parcel. Uh, this parcel is the U2's, U2's collectibles uh, that I bought before Christmas. Uh, I watched the Mr. Beast video where they actually announced these and pre-ordered them straight away. Now, they turned up really quickly uh, and I'm going to open this parcel because I'm not I've only literally just been handed it, just before I turned the camera, so, cool. so what do you get in these? Obviously, I don't know much about these U2s. These are my, I might be saying the name wrong, but I've never, I've never had one before. But obviously, these are the limited edition Mr. Beast ones. Uh, so, what we have, with me, what we have here is, let's move that, that. So, here's the Mr. Beast one. Oh, that is. These are limited edition, so uh, these are pretty cool. Look at that. That is amazing. So we've got Mr. Beast one. I'll put him over here for a second. We have Chandler's. I collect Funko Pops. I, I do collect Funko Pops. So I thought I'd get these just... Okay, they're diff slightly different, but they're still vinyl figures. And where they're limited editions, they might go up one day, they might not, but... And there's Chris, the mean god himself. No, they are amazing, so... Let's get all three of them together. Look at them. They're going to sit nicely on the shelf. I'm excited about getting them home and up somewhere. I don't know where, but we'll get them. So we'll, we'll put them on display somewhere. So, uh, right, let's go move over to uh, testing these Xboxes, shall we? Okay, so we have these three Xboxes uh, that I purchased. Uh, one of them says it has a HDMI <coughs> crackles and turns on and off. Uh, which was tested the 23rd of October last year. Uh, we also have two others that don't say anything. So what I'm going to do is we'll plug, the, we'll plug the first one in, see what happens. We've got the power ready. We've got internet cable, so if anything else. You might out. So let's uh, let's turn it on. See what happens. Oh, we have life. Let's sync up my controller as this one has some life in it. And it's come on straight away, so let's see if this. Alright, let's see. Come on. Okay, so it looks like it's been turned off while possibly doing an update. Okay, so this has got a 3.9 gig update, so. Let's leave it to update and see what happens, shall we? Okay, so I've managed to get signed into my account. Uh, let's have a look. The update took absolutely ages, so... I guess it's not going to be the most 
amazing game in the world, but we have Monopoly, it's a disc to try, it's a disc to load, make sure it loads up. Make sure. There we go. Right, so even though this one's updated, it started and everything else, it's looking as if this one doesn't work. Which isn't an issue because we can always, uh, although we know this one works, we do have two spares. So, currently we have two spares because we don't know if they work or not. So let's eject this disc. Uh, we'll come back to this one. We'll plug the next one in. Let's turn that one off. obviously we don't know what's going on with the discs we don't know if these are working or if they're not working no one's got a power issue apparently so let's move this out the way let's check the dvd oh we have a game this has come with a free copy of the nuclear room so free copy we have a copy of Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus in this, so let's have a copy of Right, so this is, this is a display issue, uh, which I'll look into. And I think it turned itself off, I'm not too sure. Let's turn, it, let's turn this one off, because we have no display on this one, normally it'll at least fire up after a minute. So we'll come back to this one. I can't hear a crackle from HDMI, but again, another no display. It's not turned itself off yet, though. Nothing in this disk drive. Uh, so I'm going to research what the issue is with the no display. See how we can get around fixing that. And we'll come back to this. So we have two no display one faulty disk drive. I'll write labels on them, I'll get them labelled up and hopefully we can at least get one possibly two working out of the uh, three that we have. Right, let me go do some research. Right, so we had a bit of a turn of events. Uh, someone while I was testing this dropped this off. Uh, they've actually donated this to the shop which is quite nice. It came with this controller and it also came with another controller. So it came with these two controllers. Uh, this one is is actually faulty because the, one of the bumpers actually falls up, comes out, um, is is snapped on side. So that's a fairly easy fix. Whether the rest of it works, I don't know. Uh, this seems to power up and move this about, but this one is running really, really slowly. Um, so when we turn it on, it comes up on the TV, but it just takes ages to load. I'm hoping it's just a hard drive because if it is, we should have two hard drives in the Xbox as well that have came in yesterday. So hopefully, I'm going to start researching and hopefully get these fixed. So let's see what happens.
this is the Xbox that had the dodgy disk drive. Uh, I've just swapped it over for one of the ones that came on the faulty, so we're turning it on before anything else. Uh, I've, now I've changed it over, I've changed the little circuit board on it. I just want to make sure it actually comes up, works, uh, and the disk drive works before I put it all back together. Uh, it, it's a safe event to do that. So let's find the controller. Let's find the controller. Here's one I have coming the other day, which I need to, I need to test anyway. So this was the Xbox I signed my person, uh, my one of my accounts into. The, I think it was the Shops account, actually. Um, Right, so let's start this update quickly and then we can test to see if the disk drive actually works okay so as you can see it's all updated all we need to do now is check the disk drive works so fingers crossed this is the working disk drive from the, dis the console with dodgy displays so let's put that in There we are. As you can see, Monopoly Family Fun Pack is working. So it's picked up the disc, so the disc drive is now working. Uh, I am going to literally get this all back together and we will have a working Xbox One. Um, okay, I will update that later. I need to test this controller properly as well because uh, this is the controller that came in with the black Xbox One that we were given. I had to put some new bump sticks on it. Um, so I need to make sure this works as well. But yeah, it's looking good. Well, so I've got to rebuild this Xbox now uh, as we have tested this drive. As you can see on the counter, I have all the Xboxes apart. So two of them that were showing up as 480 at working disk drives, uh, they, they've they actually got faulty chips on the motherboards, so they have to be scrapped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to salvage the best parts out of all of them. Uh, so I've got two working hard drives that I can take out, uh, fans, power supplies, one extra disk drive which works, uh, which I could keep in a spare section. So if I ever get any faulty Xboxes come in, which I do, and we'll keep the decent parts of the cases as well. So I've had to repair them before. So we'll keep all the spare parts, we'll salvage out as much as we can, and then we'll recycle what's left. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this Xbox built back up. Um, and then I'll see what I've got left over for spares. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, so Xbox is fixed, all updated, uh, all ready to go. Uh, we've tested the controller, it's all fine. Uh, I have a part, of a load of bits, which I'm gonna categorize and put in nice and safe outback ready for when I need it. Uh, but what, before I end this video, I just want to do a massive shout out to Efren Woodcroft. Steve from Efren Woodcroft has been amazing. He does some absolutely amazing work. Um, and he surprised me yesterday in the shop um with a with this basically he has redone my logo uh my say logo my shop side uh, which i have outside my shop um for gamers uh he has complete he has made me a small miniature one out of wood using 
an original N64 controller. It looks fantastic. Uh, I'm going to find somewhere to put it up in the shop on display because I can't say how amazed I am. But look at that. He had made it all. Um, it was a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. Um, but that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will leave a link to Steve's Facebook. Uh, he does some absolutely fantastic work. Uh, I have a few pieces at home. Uh, I also have a few pieces up in the shop. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video if you, or if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Many thanks. Goodbye.